part of uh, interdisciplinary studies about migration. This project is in fact um, a part of more extensive research from my PhD thesis on the title of a curatorial study on art about migration. Uh, here I'm going to briefly share a um, group of features that need to be considered by filmmakers and artists uh, for making art documentary about refugees. Um, the method, um, the main aim that um, I had in this research was to reassess the role of art documentary about refugees and uh, to answer the question that uh, what feature in documenting movement of refugees are essential. Uh, the method that I have uh, was grounded theory and it was qualitative uh, research for sure. And I used um, interviews uh, with artists relevant to uh, this subject. Um, this is a couple of uh, collages of a uh, small part of film documentaries uh, with the subject of refugees. From the historical point, point of view, in the last 20 years, many groups and individuals have started working on the migration image with the idea of uh, visualizing the socio-political subject can provide awareness. Art wasn't except from this circle, obviously, especially the stand of art that uh, want to make a change in society beyond the scope of TV reports and uh, newspaper column. Yeah, I would like to uh, begin uh, with some general definition necessary for starting the debate. Um, one of the main concepts rep uh, is representation. Uh, here I use the representation definition by John Tack uh, from the, um, the Burden of Representation book. He resembles art uh, to a language that based on its origin guides the um, a spectator to a certain kind of analysis and dialectic. These basic uh, concepts are firstly nature or um, reality, which is the initial path and the base where the artist's idea uh, has been selected from. Second is the analysis method relating directly to the artist's mind and the mechanism that the artist chose for him or herself. Um, and lastly is the work of art itself. So these three are the base of uh, a representation. Um, Another fu fundamental concept that uh, I think is very useful uh, for this research is uh, documentary. About documentary, uh, Michael Renault, who is a critic and expert in film documentary, defines a simple documentary structure in this way. He says, in a documentary, the artist can expand their personal opinion to reach uh, the level of truth that they want to expose for the spectator. Fundamental grounds for a documentary are to record, to persuade, to analyze, and to express, which the uh, first and second one is uh, definable as a method, um, scientific method, and related directly to the reality. And the third and fourth are kind of artistic method and related to the truth. Okay. Um, but obviously, art is not the only one um, way of presenting the situation. Art is um, one of the many platforms uh, that uh, try to uh, capture this kind of movement. Although the other platforms do use visual re representation as well, their functions are uh, fundamentally different. I try to put some of these uh, differences between mass media documentary and journalism with art documentary. Um, mass media and journalism um, are general um, are used, used uh, general explanation regarding the subject. They need to be brief and simple to all the spectat um, spectators. They need to be accessible via social media and newspaper. They um, need to be immediate in production and distribution. Um, they should be um, accessible uh, via various. Um, channels they apply to show the bold feature of the event and they has to follow the channel restrictions and dominance policy. 
Okay, uh, now with having some definitions um, of representation in our documentary and is uh, referenced with mass media and the difference of mass media and uh, reports and journalism, of course, uh, we're going to have a look at case studies that I've chosen for this uh, presentation. Evidently, there are many, many um, case studies in my research, but I just put these three because uh, they are very featured uh, in the case that I wanted to explore. Um, the first one is Human Flow uh, by Ai Weiwei. It was made in 2017. Um, Ai Weiwei is uh, one of the most famous allied artists in the world. Uh, the Human Flow movie was captured in 23 countries and 14 refugee camps. As um, Ai Weiwei has claimed, the film follows a chain of urgent human stories that uh, stretches across the globe. The other one, the other documentary that I've chosen is uh, Another News Story, a film documentary by Orban Wallis released in 2017, in the same year that um, Human Flow was released as well. Uh, it's about reporters and TV producers' reaction in encountering mass movement of refugees. And the last one is uh, Shadow Lives, a documentary by, or, um, by John Lewinstein is a um, film documentary that focused on um, movements of uh, Mexican refugees uh, to the UK and the way that um, US government tried to um, take them back to their home country. Okay, uh, following the analysis, um, these cases studies in parallel to relevant um, theories that I found uh, some features that I'm going to share with you um, because it wasn't definitely time for all of the um, analysis one by one. So I'm going to just share the features um, with you here. The first one is about reality. And uh, the first element of each art documentary is recording and accumulating the reality of the event. My first assumption is that uh, present, representing a big amount of reality doesn't necessarily show a better image of the refugee's truth. Witnessing the image of countless people moving or living in misfortunate in, is not sufficient for the audience gaining insight into or um, understanding the truth of the situation and its background in art. Uh, this is the thing that happened in uh, human flow unfortunately is just trying to show uh, as much as image that it could uh, without any um, sufficient calculate, um, uh, analysis and uh, it doesn't try to uh, tell any stories individually. Another important feature is uh, morality. Um, maybe we can say that there is no 100% right move in confrontation with this subject, but um, no one can neglect the um, importance of uh, the wrong act in this kind of situation. Wrong acts can have many varieties. However, the simplest version of it is, uh, is neglecting the main source responsible for the displacement at the first place. Uh, the other feature is uh, considering refugees as individual. Um, ignoring the individual identity of migrants, refugees, people in exile, stateless people, and so on, um, and representing them as masses is a, um, tende is a globalization tendency, which is uh, very common among uh, imperialism representative um, as well. Trying to categorize humanity on the big group or um, on the big groups to simplify their recognition is another factor that should be avoided in art. Uh, although uh, this is an established method for uh, statistic calculation and social science, it can cause uh, some level of generalization in art. Uh, I repeat and repeat uh, the fact that I'm just talking about art because I know that um, for sure this is a very common approach in other um, uh, fields. The representation without um, faces increases the distance between them and us and shows refugees as a mass. This is um, the art documentaries 
responsibility to find a place for individual uh, experiences within a bigger picture of collective identities. Uh, an example for this is again human flow by Ai Weiwei. Everything shows very fast and uh, seems like a rushed report. No one's story is told completely, and um, I wasn't either after um, constructing a, a consistent image of mobility or a visual statement of state seeking issue. Uh, since it kept opening up various topics about different human experiences within. Um, and then move to another uh, without dedicating sufficient uh, conclusion. And uh, Nita, uh, five, just, just under five minutes. Yes, sure, thanks. Um, the last one is being a political witness. Reducing um, an art project as an impression rather than a statement about the matter can create the effect of collaged frame that um, float, only floating on the surface without a critical point of view. These approaches similar to charity advertisement are intended to shortly grab uh, audience attention and provoke their sense of sympathy. It neither takes any political side nor affect any uh, analysis in order to keep a broad range of possible spectator on board. To wrap it up, uh, yeah, I think it's useful to have a flashback to the definition of representation that I had at the beginning. As uh, explained, that representing uh, the image of refugee in documentary can't solely describe the reality. In a political, uh, social documentary, such as Another News Story and Shadow Lives that I've mentioned before, the reality is the initial path and um, the base where the artist's idea uh, have been selected from. The filmmaker selected a part of the complicated concept and turns it into an argument. During this procedure, a new aspect of the concept is born, uh, which is unique. And that's um, a part that is making um, an artwork and is um, somewhere between reality um, uh, objective work of art and analysis method is something in between of these and artwork can um, be born. Um, among these uh, two cases studies that I explored here, human flow suffered from the lack of political point of view. Uh, eventually at the end of a raw represented work and uh, there always remains a gap between existence and the representation, which uh, Jen Webb called it story with a hole. Um, from my point of view, this whole, is, uh, this whole of the story is the area that art can become active and provide a counter narrative to the do dominant um, stories or describe its creative political understanding. In this way, art documentary gets and divided from other sort of documentation and representation of refugees. And thank you.